hello and welcome to my channel um i received some mail today um, okay this one wasn't today this one was a while back but i've been waiting ages and ages for the rest of them to arrive and they haven't so i'm just going to open it now in amongst these little things um this is cover minders this is sparklers i don't know what's in this and this should be a, a cover minder of sorts so let's do the one I don't know. Ah, right, opening. Again, typical of China Mail. You get it. Ooh! Oh, I didn't think these were going to arrive. Right! They give you tracking numbers that don't work. Oh, wow. Okay. Let me get... Oh, what am I doing? All right. Now, these were not bought... Oops. Things falling... These were not bought from Ali as cover minders. These were bought as magnets. They may not work as intended. This is um, basically a, the mat, the magnet mat um, on these. I don't know how sticky they're going to be um, for the function of cover minders. These are glass beads. Um, can you see you've got shine you've still got some shine but I've got my cat I've got a little wren it says 19, oops, 1946 farthing this is oops um, I think it's Irish it's three denarii um, which is old, old money. It's a hair, and I think it says La Rule, um, which I don't know what that means. Okay, Dad would know. And then I've got two cats. And then this one complements it. It's another... Um, magnetic glass bead it's in a paw because I have a few cats and it was significant so I'm actually they're they're heavy glass so there's the weight of the glass um they will stick lightly to my rulers um I don't know if this is one of Karen's cover minders That could potentially stick. I do have some more magnets Woo, coming. But either way, they're pretty and I like them. So my daughter is getting into stuff and being a nuisance. Now, these are more cover minders from Australia. It's like at last somebody is doing these. Now, these are from Amy. She, Amy Dunbar is a Friendly Cover Minders, I think is the name of her Facebook group or Facebook page. Oh, they're really quite small. I didn't know what to expect. I think she did tell me they were quite small. Um, Mrs. Coffee also received a package from Amy. Uh, now, let's see if I can get these to behave. Oh, I wanted butterflies. They are tiny, tiny things. Now, let's see. Is there... Oh. Behave. Strong little magnets, that's for sure. No. Okay. I'm going to have to play the magnet game problem with magnets they stick to each other so well 
wrong one. Now, what I will do is take pictures. Oh, they are really strong magnets. And I'm going to <laughs> You saw how far away that was from each other? This is going to be silly. Um, hey, Han, could you give me one of your little metal rulers? Please? There we go. There's something funky going on with that one. Thank you. All right, this is how you tame magnetic cover minders. Actually, I'll do it through the cover. When they're not fighting each other, they just fight the ruler. Um, and I have two of these stuck just with Bluetack. So they are my cover minders from Amy Dunbar. They were um, $20 for the set. Uh, they're little butterflies. They are very, very small, which is actually quite handy if you don't want to be fighting um, big cover minders. Here is my work in progress that I'm using cover minders for currently. And if you don't want to have big chunky stuff you've got the option of having little and then I've got these monsters but like I said I don't think they will do a brilliant job of sticking let's see here we go because those magnetic sheets are such wussy things oh they hold it quite gently very very gently um, certainly not like the metal magnets like these. But as I said, I got them because they look pretty and I think I might supplement them. I have a project coming through in the mail and um, they might be somewhat involved but for now they'll stick on to a ruler like this I have to get some more I will put them on my bridge light then which is the, the light beams that you see here I'll put them on that but look see they stick they're just like fridge, fridge magnets so um, anyone who is used to fridge magnets would know and I'll have them all over my desk by the end of it because you know who doesn't like pretty things now the last thing that I've got to show you are these these are sparklers these are not Tina's sparklers these are sparklers from Aliexpress this is what you get them in now um, I will link the video here for Tina's sparklers and you can see how she packages them and you can see the difference in her presentation and Aliexpress who really don't care all right now weight for weight they might be about the same the sparkle is on the top with a dull silver on the back these are Tina sparklers. They are meant to be the same size. They are meant to be 2.8s. These actually look slightly smaller. Um, size for size. No, I think there's more in Tina's bag, which I kind of expected there to be more in Tina's bag. Very hard because these are sealed. And I'm not going to open them. There's probably half the volume in this than there is in Tina's. And I'm not going to count them one for one. So I paid not much for these. But I get not much for these. Okay. You don't have the love and care that Tina is going into. You don't have, for a start, these took 
weeks and weeks. Let me get them up because you are going to know how long it's taken to get here. All right. These were ordered on the 15th of August. They've taken over two weeks to get here. Um, Tina is based in the US. You're going to get them within days. Um, you're also going to get stickers that she throws in, cards that she throws in, say, hey, thanks for um, supporting her. And you're supporting a homegrown business um, that is hers. You're also going to get much more choice in what you're getting. So these are just plain sparklers in here. Um, Tina has all of these in the round ABs. Tina is getting in a square AB solution and she's also asked who's interested in glow in the dark, who's interested in the square ABs. She has offered gold, silver, copper or gold, silver, yeah, gold, silver, copper and pewter sparklers. Um, and yeah, as I said, she has the workaround for the square ABs for the sparklers and she will get around to doing the um, ABs in the squares um, as soon as she gets the supplier that's going to work with her. Um, she's going to have the stock in the States, so you're going to get it super, super fast. It's the 2nd of September today, so that's taken about 17 days to get here. This was 216. Um, Tina sparklers are three dollars for the pack. You've got much more in Tina's. It's a Ziploc bag. This is sealed. There is no once you're in this, you're in it, and that's it. You're committed. There is no way to reseal it. There's actually a giant one in there. I wonder what that is. Um, these are more geared. I suppose are sold more geared towards um, nail art. And that was, I think, what I went hunting for. This was on Real Chure Official Store. These are the SS10s, which you've got the 10 on here. And these are 2.8. It does actually say there's 1440 pieces in that. Uh, Tina's does sell 1400, I think, in her bags. Um, it doesn't feel the same but I don't have my little scales working to be able to go weight for weight. But yeah, 216 plus tax, um, Australian, um, to get me to here in th three weeks. A um, little over two weeks. Um, so there you go. Cheap and nasty sparklers or supporting your homegrown who's going to get it to you in days. Um, there you go. Um, you don't have the videos choice with sparklers, as I said, you, and you um, I will see you around. Tina. Um, you do have different sizes in these, but if you're not doing nail art, you don't necessarily need two mil or um, one mil rhinestones, which is what they offer for the nail art kind of thing. So, yeah, just um, a bit of a glimpse of these. I will put some still photos in for the butterflies because they are so small, they won't come out on um, camera if I zoom them up to you. Um, and then I've got these pretty fridge magnets, which I will place things. I did this... The two coins just to remind me of um, Ireland, England, old coins. And um, yeah, cats because I've got the cats. I have um, an Eli of my own, if you're familiar with wolf packs. All right, just continuing on, I'm just going to add this at the end of my video. This was an additional um, pen that I expected to get with Victoria Moon given the size that I was ordering and they couriered it to me after I mentioned it to Alvina when I was giving her some feedback. Now I really like these pens and that's why I have gone to the bother of getting one. Now I know a lot of people don't actually like using them but they are really handy particularly for rhinestones. Now I do have a bit of a close-up video and I need to try and get it so stand by just a second. The wax head on these is replaceable okay 
unscrew that and there you have it you can buy these on Ali as replacements because they do get worn down um, or they get eaten by young children as mine have been excuse my arm thank you this is my original wax head and it gets reshaped quite regularly come on focus the whole point you're here is to focus all right so the wax head just gets warmed up and um, rubbed between fingers and it takes off that square butt end and just repositioned I don't particularly like the white I think I ended up getting pink um, but there's that it's a little pink pen the drills are quite loose in this it looks a bit grubby to be honest but then the narrow head now you can put wax in these you can put normal um, wax that you get in a kit and it picks up drills really well it actually positions them really well too to give them a bit of a push and um, I think I might have used them when I was doing the key rings so uh, I showed you and it, it takes the lightest of dabs for this wax to pick up any size drill so you can do your special diamonds with these pens um, so please 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 don't be afraid of these pens these pick up normal rhinestones even though they look tiny um, they are a quite fine precision tool and um, yes you see nail artists using them regularly and you see them with ridiculously long nails too using these because it's their craft so I thought I would share um, my pen so they're not um, to be dismissed I don't think too out of hand please give them a go um, you might find that they have specific tasks that they are really good for. They're not necessarily good for normal diamond painting, but they are good for certain things, particularly with the rhinestones. So please check that out. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.